Yo, this is Get YouTube. Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are doing gameplay with the brand new 100 overall Dino Raja. And I will say this before we even hop into the video: the fact they changed his wingspan from 7'11 to 7'3 is super lame, and I am not a fan of that whatsoever. At the same time, I do think he'll still be a pretty good card at the power forward position. I'm just disappointed by the fact that they made him as nerfed as he is with that wingspan, um, because I think he's a solid card all the way around. But see, why? Like why? We're in July, into July. I don't, I don't, I don't, that doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever why this is the time that they're like, oh yeah, it's time to nerf his wingspan. That makes total sense. It does not make total sense at all, at least to me, but regardless, whatever. It is what it is. Before we hop in, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Help me push towards the 30,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. So, Dino is 7 foot 1, sorry, 6'11, not 7 foot 1. 6'11, 7'3 wingspan, 99 offense, 99 defense, 99 stats, of course, across the board as 100 overall, and basically every single important Hall of Fame badge in the game, which is pretty standard stuff. You look at the gold badges, wouldn't say any of them are particularly important he's a really really solid card for sure by the way massive shout out to my boy jjg for letting me use this account to record this gameplay really appreciate that a lot i do think this raja card is actually going to be pretty good i mean he's got great sigs tray escape uh jamal murray behind the back all that type of stuff which isn't particularly special at this point in the year but it is still very good animations um release wise solid not unbelievable donna mitchell base is good jared vanderbilt upper isn't unbelievable but it'll get the job done um athletically he's great this card's good at the power forward position he'd be better if they'd give him his eight foot wingspan um but i think as a whole the card's gonna be good there's no doubt about it there's just a billion good power forward options in the game right now and i think a guy like um a guy like Dino Raja certainly is not anything particularly special at this point in the year, is my main point. Um, it's not that I don't think he's a good card. It's just that I don't think he's unbelievable or anything. This set, in all honesty, the 100 overalls, are a little bit underwhelming to say the least for sure definitely not the most exciting set 100 overalls but this dino card should be solid and um we're gonna hop into a game see what we can do so without further ado let's hop right into it see what dino raja is capable of all right hopping into this game mr dino oh he's open first possession catch shoot wide open why didn't i thought i missed that we had it we're good um this dude's got looks like dark matter steph at pg seriously um john bradley at center is obviously a dog jason tatum vince carter and it looks like rodman at the four this is not what i would consider a very elite squad at this point in the year contest steph and the contest system is broken speeds up his jumper again that's one of the things that i'd really like to see change in 2k25 is the contest system for shots like that he has no chance to hit that shot even with a shooter like steph curry because it gets sped up by um by a like a half contest basically with dino he's not even really up on him and it's sped up to the point where you can't even time your own shot like regardless of green window he can't even have it he doesn't even have a shot at timing his own shot another thing that i don't like there when it makes the cpu jump and the cpu commits a foul i didn't hit my y button there but the cpu jumped into jason tatum and committed a foul and we have already seen in the first 45 seconds of this game two terrible things about gameplay um it is funny how bad the gameplay is in this game but i mean dino has quick has a quick five points so that's always nice um and i guess we'll see what we can do so uh let's play d let's please play defense uh pass it in and run the floor let's get dino into a pick and roll the thing about dino and most cards at this point in the year but especially a guy like dino he has every single perfect sig so like when it comes to shot creation hot fan for days every sig a guy like dino can legitimately maybe not be your primary ball handler with his release but as a whole be a very very capable primary ball handler-esque card as he's forced out about the gameplay is just terrible bro like multiple things in the first minute of that game that were just awful i don't blame him for Quitting. and uh, we're gonna hop in another game keep him with Dino Raja now this team is quite the test for Dino Raja matched up against Tim Duncan one of the very best power forwards in the game he's also got Taco Carmelo KD and Brandon Roy that's a heck of a team and this should be a good matchup here so we're gonna see what we can do in this one and if we can continue to hoop with uh, Dino Raja the way that he was in that first game because he was out here hooping for sure attack downhill hit our pop I do wish if I had to critique anything about this card it would be that I wish his release was a little faster that's God, I love that. Blocking foul, not called a blocking foul, turns into an out of bounds. I can literally critique something about every single possession of the gameplay. I don't know if that's just me being critical or, and I'm talking about both ends of the court too. I, I, that's uh, really in 2K25. But in, in, outside of the gambling only stuff, the gameplay is just a big area that needs a lot of tweaks. And I'm hoping that they actually have done a good job with it. We'll see. Uh, but good switch here. Good job. Wall up defensively. Stay in front of Taco. That's a really solid defensive possession. And he... 
Really? Ta Sean Bradley, you couldn't get a hand up there? I guess. Good shot. Bro. Credit to you, I guess, right? Uh, attack downhill. Popper again. I don't love Dino's release. And that's the. I think that's the one thing that I don't really like about this card. Another thing I love about the gameplay this year. Right stick ripper. One of the least skilled badges that's ever been added to the game. And I step out of bounds again. Two possessions in a row. Holy just exasperating i apologize for my complaining but damn this gameplay is just an exasperating it's a, it's frustrating it is what it is let's play d stay in front of brandon roy make him work watch the rim run he's gonna get a standing he could have probably had a standing dunk there no glenn rice don't over help we're fine get back to the corner good defense step good d stay in front of tim duncan yep good defense and that's a steal all right run the floor that should be a dunk and it is going to be an easy dunk <laughs> Didn't get blocked from behind. We'll take that. Dino with the stick dunk, and we have a two to two tie right now. Um, I don't think we're playing awful so far, so we'll see if we can uh, keep it going here. Step up here. Good defense. Rotate here. Good. Help high. So that's good D. Yes, sir. We'll take our double team right there. He didn't have the next pass, and it forces him to hesitate for too long. Gets caught in the jump ball, and Kareem should be able to win the jump ball. Just please win it to Dino and don't win it to freaking Carmelo back there. Thank you. I'm just waiting for the game to give the jump ball to the other team. Um, stop here. Behind the back here. Good burst. Yes, sir. Stop. Pop. Dino. I'm not going to get that off. I got fouled. He shouldn't have jumped. That's his fault. But that was not a very good shot. Dino's release is the one critique of this card, if I have any major critiques, besides the fact that they changed his wingspan, which sucks. But the release would be the one thing that I would criticize. 93% free throw misses. That's unfortunate. Um, I do wish his release was a little quicker, though. I do. It would be nice. His upper's not great. That's I think that's the main critique there, uh, is that the upper's just not awesome. Step up here again. Like, obviously, he's not going to be Tim Duncan with Patty Mills base, but it'd be nice if he was a little bit better release-wise. Uh, play the pop again. Good defense, Dino. Good D. Oh, yo, that is not a foul. No chance. Oh, 2K24 gameplay, man. It is a fun time. Um, three minutes left in the game. It's going to be a tie game. Oh, he missed the free throw. Never mind. We have both now missed 90 plus percent free throws. I missed a 93. He's missed a 94. That's kind of nuts. Same side has he here. Reject the screen. That's a three ball. That should be green. And it is beautiful stuff. Dino Raja drills the three. Very nice use of the Jamal Murray behind the back there. And we create enough space to get our three ball off um, and take a seven to three lead. Very nice. Now, let's blitz this hand again. And let's stay, by, stay back. I did not get in front of taco that's just a bad defensive possession gave taco way too much of a driving lane there that's on me my fault um cross it over again boom l2 cancel i messed up the l2 doesn't really matter he's gonna help off which is gonna give me a wide open mid-range and we'll take that bucket dino raja hits the shot that glenn rice created for him and we can't even animate towards that steal at all that's fun oh we'll animate on that one though he's passing the ball too much he's just trying to do too much with the passing right now swing to the corner catch shoot tyrus thomas four three uh-oh uh-oh it's a seven point lead now you and your taco not saving you my friend i don't think taco's gonna save you watch the rim run stay in front good d <laughs> what do you do literally i have no answers for that card there, he is one of the most overpowered cards in the game for a reason but i don't even know what you say about that type of shot um because i actually thought that was i don't know how much more i could do defensively than that to be honest um i mean i was in pretty good position with the seven foot five dude and he just spins around me does an acrobat layup and scores like <laughs> i don't know what you want from me to be completely honest and cpu steals the pass even though he's not looking at the ball this is really fun and Patty Mills base gets a three ball off. And all of a sudden, it's a two-point game. Damn. It is what it is. It is what it is. Good L2 cancel. Drive the ball. I Spacing really good. Yep. Very nice. Good job spacing the floor. Uh, back up top here. Swing it over to Dino. I have a shooter if I want it. I'm going to shoot this again. I think I got it off. I did get it off. Let's go. Good stuff by Dino. I thought Taco was realistically going to get a contest there, but he didn't do anything too glitchy that time. Didn't get a glitchy contest, and we get ourselves a bucket here. Um, swing. Go. Oh, whoa. I don't know how I ended up with that ball, but I'll take it. Uh, I'm not sure I deserve to, to be fair, but he reaches in, fouls me, trying to get a right stick gripper. Not going to happen, and that should pretty much do it for this game, giving us what? If we make both free throws, a seven-point lead with a minute left, I think we're in a pretty good spot is what that would mean, and we do manage 
managed to knock both of the free throws down. No 90 plus percent free throw misses that time. Um, blitz that outside hand, not there. Stay in front, just make him work. Again, I can, I can pretty much afford to just, just, just take time off the clock at this point. And if it winds up giving up a two, it winds up giving up a two. But just as long as we don't give up a three, I think we're pretty much in a good spot at this point. Um, Taco is very glitchy and very hard to stop, but we're doing the best we can. And that realistically probably should have been a bucket for Brandon Roy, but he passed it up. And then Dino makes a defensive play. Dot the corner, catch, shoot. Glenn Rice, I forced that because I got Patty Mills base. My fault. Bad shot. He was contested. That's on me. Doesn't really matter at this point, though, is the funny thing. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it matters what, how much what we do at this point. Dino's done a good job defensively, but that right there, you see the problem that height can present. He's not seven foot three. And there are there are situations in which a seven foot three big is going to be more favorable. And that's one of them right there for sure. Catch, shoot, drill that one as well. And that'll do it. All right. 17 points, one assist, two steals, five of five and three or three from three after a very solid first game as well. Dino Raja had himself a great performance. I think a lot of it was our opponent not being the best, though, to be fair. I like the card. I don't love, love, love the card because I wish his release was a little better. But he's definitely a very solid option. So hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back on more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.